Marcus Aurelius once said, nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. Panelists, teachers, fellow researchers, good morning. I am Denise Dominique Burondo, together with Angelo Franz Alvaran, Lara May Bolo, Beatrice Millet Burgos, and Kyle John Calamay from BSN 3G Group 1A, presenting our study, eHealth Literacy Among Third-Year Nursing Students. The use of eHealth has brought a massive change in the healthcare industry. As the implementation of eHealth increases, the health workers in charge, which are the nurses, need to be eHealth literate to support and give exceptional care to patients and their families. As the COVID-19 pandemic resulted in the sudden shift of education into digital platforms, there is a lack of face-to-face -face student instructor demonstration and supervision which are relevant to heighten the eHealth literacy skills of nursing students. This study aimed to determine the eHealth literacy among third-year nursing students. Specifically, this study sought to answer the following questions. First, what is the demographic profile of their nursing students according to sex, computer and internet skills, connectivity status, and type of community? Second, what is the nursing student's level of e-health literacy according to awareness of online health resources, skills needed to find and use online health resources, and ability to effectively evaluate online health resources? Third, is there a significant relationship between the eHealth literacy of third-year nursing students as a whole and when grouped according to sex, computer and internet skills, connectivity status, and type of community? Hypothesis. There is no significant relationship between level of eHealth literacy of third-year nursing students and profile variables. A. Sex. B. Computer and internet skills. C. Connectivity status. And D. Type of community. Methodology. For the research design, the researchers use descriptive quantitative. For the participants, the participants of the research were third-year nursing students. Using the Slobin's formula with a 5% margin of error, the researchers were able to determine the sample population of 163 third-year nursing students. For the instrument, the questionnaire was adopted from Norman and Skinner 2006 for the nursing student's literacy on e-health with a Cronbach's alpha score of 0 0.88, which indicates that it is a reliable instrument for research. The questionnaire was validated using good and skates criteria. For the statistical tool, first objective, frequency distribution and percentage. Second objective, mean and standard deviation. Third objective, chi-square test. Results and discussion. For the demographic profile of third-year nursing students, in terms of sex, three-quarters of the participants were female, which is at 73.6% and 26.4% were male. For the computer and internet skills, most of the participants, which is at 58.3%, were comfortable users, 29.4% were skilled users, 6.7% were experts, and 5.5% had some experience. For the connectivity status, mostly were under category 2B, which is with limited connectivity, and with laptop or desktop, which is at 55.8%. 28.2% were under category 3, which is with stable internet and with laptop or desktop. 15.3% were under category 2A, which is with limited connectivity, and with mobile phone or gadgets and 0.6% is under Category 1, which is having no internet connectivity. For the type of community, most of the students were living in the urban community, which is at 82.2%, and 17.8% were living in a rural community. For the nursing students' level of e-health literacy, in terms of awareness of online health resources, skills needed to find and use online health resources, and the ability to effectively evaluate online health resources, the participants have a high association and are confident. For the relationship between the eHealth literacy of third-year nursing students as a whole and when grouped according to profile, 
The results reveal that there is no significant relationship between the level of EHAT literacy of third-year nursing students as a whole and a group according to sex, computer and internet skills, connectivity status, and type of community. For the conclusions, with regards to the EHAT literacy using the EHILS, the participants have a high association of combined knowledge, comfort, and perceived skills at finding, evaluating, and applying electronic health information to health problems and are confident in their awareness of online health resources, skills needed to find and use online health resources, and their ability to effectively evaluate online health resources. Next, there is no significant relationship between e-health literacy and profile variables sex, computer and internet skills, connectivity status, and type of community. Next, we will go to the recommendations Nursing school administrators are recommended to focus on the e-health literacy among undergraduate nursing students since improving competencies in e-health literacy skills of nursing students is essential. Future researchers that use this study as a springboard are recommended to increase the sample size using the participants from first year to fourth year and compare their level of e-health literacy to promote the widening of data range and to garner more efficient results. As for nursing students, they may be encouraged to develop and enhance their e-health literacy skills at the earliest opportunity. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day and God bless.